In my experience, the most underappreciated field of study in all the world is ethical philosophy. I've read whole books, bestsellers, that would have been obviated if the author had so much as taken a weekend fucking seminar in ethics. And I honestly think that one of the reasons ignorance of that subject is so ubiquitous is that we've all been playing along with this fantasy that religion teaches ethics for so long that we've forgotten what ethics even is. I, I consider this. Imagine you walk into your first class of ethics, right? Ethical philosophy 101 or whatever. And the professor starts off going like, okay, murder, bad. Stealing, bad. Giving to charity, good. Like, and yet, that's about the extent of the ethical tutelage you can expect from a church. Their version of the trolley problem has one empty track on it. It shouldn't be like that. They go to church every fucking week. Some of them go two or three times a week. And I get that morality isn't the only thing that they talk about, but it's like one of the main three or four things, isn't it? You'd think by the time these motherfuckers reach adulthood, they'd all but have the equivalent of a PhD in moral philosophy. But if anything, they've been ethically handicapped by deontological bullshit through their formative years without ever being taught what fucking deontology means. I mean, sure, at its most basic level, being a moral person is about behaving morally. Like, you know, most of our moral lapses come when we know good and damn well that we're doing something wrong. But we also understand the right thing intuitively most of the time. You know, yeah, you got to tell a three-year-old not to bite people or whatever, but as soon as we've got a solid handle on theory of mind, we also work out all the do-unto-others-level ethics stuff. This is some a priori shit, and yet it's essentially the full extent of Christian moral teachings. Of course, if you really want to learn about ethics, you don't focus on shit like, you know, thou shalt. Instead, you drill down on real moral dilemmas. Right? If there's a fire in a museum, are you justified in saving a priceless work of art instead of a person? Why or why not? How do you make that decision in real time? And by doing that, you actually prepare yourself for novel circumstances where the ethical decision might actually be tricky or might not be clear. Now, admittedly, some churches do some stuff like that some of the time, but they have to dip their toes into it very carefully because their whole system is based on deontology. Their path to morality is to listen to God, obey the Bible, and follow the example of Christ. Anytime they present you with a problem that can't be solved with that formula, they're underscoring the fact that their whole ethical system is essentially useless. I mean, even if it somehow worked, its weaknesses become pretty glaring as soon as you imagine some dude in a flaming museum flipping through the Old Testament to see if there's anything relevant in there. And look, as bad as arming people with a nearly useless moral code and then sending them out into the world with the belief that they're experts in the subject is, it actually manages to get worse. Because if your morality is based on authoritarian dictates, it's way easier to manipulate than one based on, say, the consequences of your actions. I'm not saying consequentialism can't be manipulated. Plenty of 21st century genocides would be quick to point out my error if I did. But it's way harder than manipulating a moral code that basically boils down to because I said so. Or, or because the invisible guy I speak for said so. Bit of a distinction without a difference. And sure, this causes plenty of problems on the individual level, but that's nothing compared to the problems it creates culturally. Consider the pandemic. Right here we are facing a moral dilemma that, while not exactly novel, is something nobody alive remembers having to deal with before. And the ones who are getting the ethics wrong most consistently are precisely the group that prides itself on its ethical superiority. These are people who all but worship the idea of self-sacrifice. Their messiah, in their minds anyway, is the very embodiment of that concept. But that doesn't matter because theirs is a rules-based morality and there's no rule in the Bible that says thou shalt wear a fucking mask and get your fucking shot. Of course, I'm sure you could go through the Bible and find plenty of passages that clearly indicate that getting vaccinated and masking up is the moral thing to do. But to do so would be to miss the point. The problem isn't the specific moral precept that we're working with, but rather the very framework that they're putting it on. A thing is made moral by a moral authority proclaiming it. In this instance, the preponderance of those moral authorities, in their minds anyway, said that the moral thing to do was to stand up for your rights, refuse the shot, and aggressively breathe on as many people as possible. Now, there were some moral authorities for all of them saying the opposite, yes. And for some of those folks, that might have been a pretty even mix. Maybe even the majority were saying to do the right thing, but that doesn't matter because at the same time that they're being told that morality is based on following a set of fucking rules, they're also being told that a ghost will whisper the right answer to them if the problem is ever too tough. 
So, so when they encounter conflicting moral dictates, their ethical system literally tells them that the moral choice is whatever the fuck they feel like. This is at least part of the reason why reforming the faith can't work. Yes, progressive Christianity is better than regressive Christianity, but so is almost everything. The root of the problems, though, are so deeply woven into the fabric of the faith that you can't tease them out without the whole damn thing unraveling. And that's not a bad thing. The whole thing unraveling, as we've demonstrated over and over again, is the most moral outcome possible. 